Hi, I'm Eric Hawkins from Park Tool, and this is Max, one of our engineers. And we're here today to tell you about new products for 2016. So we're going to start with some updated products, which are also new. And we're going to start out with the DT5.2. And Max is going to tell us about this. So DT5.2 disc brake mount facing set. Yes, it is. And? And it will face any disc brake mount on any bike out there. So all three types? Bold claims, yes, all three types. Um, IS mount standards, post mount, the new flat mount, and it will also accommodate axles from widths as low as 100 in the front up to 150 in the front for all axle configurations open and through, as well as 135 in the back to over 200 for all axle configurations. So we had a DT5 last year yeah. and we updated it this year because there's so many different axle widths now and these are adjustable axles. Yep, they are teles telescoping so they will basically adapt to whatever size even if it's random and not any real standard whatsoever. Right. If you have a DT5 you can buy the axle set and yep. upgrade yours to a, basically a DT5.2. Exactly. Okay. DAG 2.2. This is one of our most popular tools, and uh, this has been upgraded to fit a wider variety of derailleur hangers, and some of them have the derailleurs that stick out a little bit further. We've given ourselves even more room to accommodate yeah. those derailleurs, and it has a replaceable tip. So stronger tip, replaceable, so if you drop it or bang it around and damage the threads, you can just replace the tip. INF2 shop inflator. Um, this has been changed in a lot of ways. So we've had this out now two or three years. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing is that we changed the handle so you can hang it on a variety of things, work trays, work benches, mm -hmm. toolboxes. There's also a hole in the handle. This way you can hang it on pegboard, whatever you want to do. It's about 40% lighter, so a lot easier to handle. Yep. It's got a rubber bumper around the gauge and the head is, has changed, it now has internal threading, so it's um, much stronger mm -hmm. if it gets banged around. Yep. Tell us what this is. This is the BBT 10.2 adjusting ring tool. Um, it will take the adjustment cap off of Shimano cranks and the update is this little clip that allows you to remove the locking clip on Shimano cranks. Little hook here, yeah. Yep. These are new, uh, updated, TL6.2, and tell us what's different over the TL6. Um, the TL6.2 uh, has a different plastic material. It has a tip that has been refined and exposed, so the metal tip is now exposed to allow you to get in and better get underneath tighter beads, and then there's plastic where you need it for slippery. So a steel core tire lever yep. with plastic or composite on the outside, and it won't scratch rims, but yet the tip is really thin to get in underneath really, really thin, tight beads. Really strong. Right. Yeah. This is a Torx L-shape set, pretty much self-explanatory. We have Torx in a lot of different configurations, and now we have it in an L-shaped TWS-1. Yeah. This is an RP5 snap ring pliers. Yes, it is. And tell us about the tips on this. The tips are 1.7 millimeters. Um, it's an internal snap ring plier, so it'll allow you to get into deeper, bigger snap rings on dropper po posts and suspension forks. So we have four other snap ring pliers, and this also will be included in the, in the set, the RP set. Point two. Point two. These are torque tools. There's four different torque tools, torque drivers. Four, five, and six Newton meter preset. PTD four, five, and six. PTD four, five, and six. Yep. And then the ATD one. Yep. And tell us about the ATD one. The ATD one is an adjustable torque driver, which is adjustable between four and six Newton meters. Four, four point five, five, five point five, and six Newton meters. Um, and you can adjust it using this knob here. It comes with three bits in the handle and one in the shank. It's a magnet, so pops in nice. 
and it's a shop quality tool. These are shop quality tools. These are all metal internals. These are not uh, disposable tools or limited use tools. These are shop grade torque drivers, yep. preset and adjustable. We've got a new reamer here. It seems like we always have a new reamer. What is this one for? This one is for 47 millimeter or inch and a quarter head tubes. And this is a 799 reamer. Okay, another new spoke wrench. And this one's for Campy, correct? That's for Campy, 5.5 and six millimeter spoke nipples, hexagon shaped spoke nipples. It seems like we have every size cover. I think we do. Yeah. yeah. This is a new tool. Um, this is a, a lock ring tool. Uh, basically the Shimano spline, and it's similar to an FR5, but um, there's a few differences. One, of course, it has a handle on it. This is a threaded, removable handle, so if you wear the end out, you can replace it Absolutely. on the same handle. Mm -hmm. All uh, polished, all plated. Um, the boss on the lock ring remover will let the nut on a quick release all the way through, so you don't have to take the nut off the quick release. Yep. So it's very fast, you put it on, and you're done. Yep. Staying in the same family. FR5 GT. This is a 12 millimeter through axle version of our FR5 G. So it basically just has an aluminum through axle, non-marring, so that'll slide into your hub and keep you nice and centered. Keeps it straight. Another bottom bracket tool. Yep, BBT 79. It's a 12.46 millimeter version. So these we make in-house CNC machined aluminum. So non-marring, very pre precise, a really nice tight fit. And now this is the fourth size of these. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the belt drive tools. We have two belt drive tools this year. We've got the BDT1, which is essentially a chain whip for a belt drive tool. You just wrap it around the belt drive cog. It's spring loaded for positive engagement and it allows you to hold the cog securely while you're removing a lock ring. And we also have a BDT2 belt drive tension meter. It's spring loaded here so that you can, basically you set one end on a cog, one end on your chain ring or belt ring. And as you push down, this moves, allowing you to read your belt tension. And it also has an angularity gauge to make sure that you are in line. So it's either too tight, too loose, or just right. Yep. This is um, CB4 Chain Bright, um, our, our degreaser. And this is mostly used in our chain cleaner, mm -hmm. um, the CM5.2. Um, we've been making citrus uh, degreaser for many years, and now we're changing over to uh, what we call Bio Chain Bright. It's all natural, but it works better. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great general purpose degreaser and it works great in the uh, chain cleaner. Absolutely. This is grease, this is a new grease. It is, it's HP G1 high performance grease. Right, so tell us why it's better. Um, it is tackier, it has a higher temperature range, and uh, we recommend it for use in ceramic bearings or other high precision type components. Okay, wider temperature range, um, Better water resistance. Better water resistance, more uptake on rolling bearings, so it stays lubricated better than a traditional grease. Great. All right, these are four new multi-tools. Get them in the right order here. So these are four different sizes, and basically they have a lot of the same functions, but as they get bigger, obviously there are more um, features uh, included. Mm -hmm. The smallest one is really ideal for a road rider, a variety of hexes and torques. This one we're saying is best for a tri rider, but certainly anybody can use it. It's got a CO2 inflator right on it. You just take it right off and put mm -hmm. it on the canister. This one would be for the commuter, the city cyclist, the enthusiast. Um, it has basically everything but a chain tool. And this one is really best for a mountain bike rider, but again, anybody can use it. It's got a chain tool on it. Uh, with its own holding handle, it's got the CO2 inflator, and it's got a, a lot of hexes on it. These are all packaged in really nice, smooth aluminum forge side plates. Uh, they're great to hold in your hand, they're smooth. Uh, all the bits are, are polished and plated, and these are high-end multi-tools. Mm -hmm. Specific riders in mind for each of them. Right. MT10, MT20, MT30, and MT40. 
MT sounds like for multi-tool. Well, well, who yeah. knew? So, in these boxes here, Last we but have not a least. couple of presses. Yes, we've got the HBP1 hub press and the BBP1 bottom bracket press. All right. The HBP1 hub press is, as it sounds, a press for hubs. You, uh, it will allow you to press hub bearings in for axle sizes from 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20 millimeter IDs um, with over 20 total different uh, options. It has a steel press with a quick release end for fast engagement and easy removal of the press from the hub as well as a quick release for doing smaller sized bearings. Right, so a lot of different uh, size options here. Everything that we think that you'll need. And it all comes in this nice case so you can keep it all together and not lose any of those Keep it organized, pieces. make sure you know what you have and right. what you need. And this is a bottom bracket press. We already make a bottom bracket press in a way because it's our head cup press and you can use it, but it's bigger and heavier and this is gonna make it easier. Exactly, now we've taken a look at it and you know the headset press was largely for headsets, but you could use it for bottom brackets. This one is specifically designed for bottom brackets. It has a press here, again, with this quick release magnet design. Um, so it'll allow you to quickly you know, engage and remove the press without having to spin anything off. Um, and this will do from a 68 millimeter road bike all the way up to over 150 millimeter. I think is the maximum size on it. And it comes with six precision machined uh, inserts. inserts. Great. The other two new products are repair stands, our bench mount repair stand we made taller and gave you more mounting options. And our double arm stand, uh, PRS2, uh, is now the PRS2.2. And that also, we increased the number of uh, height options. Yep. So that's it for this year. 28 new or updated tools. That's a lot of tools to make your job go faster. Hope we made your life a little bit easier. That's right. <laughs>